ओम शांति बाबा जय व्यक्त मुरली फेब्रुआरी इलेवन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर डेट फेब्रुआरी ट्वेंटी फोर अव्यक्त बाप दादा मधुबन टाइटल ऑफ द मुरली एज लव फॉर द फादर सर्विस एंड द फैमिली and you will become free from having to labor so baba says if you have a true love for baba for service and family then automatically become free from having any kind of labor hard work let us listen baba's words today children from everywhere have come to celebrate their father's birthday so versions of shri baba on occasion of shiv jayanti whether you are personally sitting in front of the father that is in the corporeal form or are here in your angelic form you are in front of him the father is seeing all the children on the one hand you are happy to be celebrating this meeting and on the other hand you have the zeal and enthusiasm to do service in order to reveal the father as soon as possible on seeing children in all directions bab dada gives multi million billion fold congratulations just as you children have come from far far away from all corners to celebrate father's birthday so bab dada has come from so far baba is also coming from the supreme abode not from here so from far far away to celebrate far far away to celebrate children's birthday who has come from farthest away the father or you you would say we have come from very far away but the father would say i have come from even further away than you so baba is comparing the distance of the world and distance of the in a bowl however it takes your time your time to come here whereas it doesn't take time the father and it doesn't take the father any time depends because we are going through physical body through physical transport so it will take a time for baba it is a spiritual thing he is coming very fast way even one second he can come down so baba comparing both the thing all of you have to catch a plane or train where the father simply has to take a chariot so difference is there we have our own chariot but we have to come through physical way baba is coming directly but in other's body it isn't that only you have come to celebrate the father's birthday but that the father has also come to celebrate the birthday of the <coughs> brahmin souls who are the original companions the children who have been his companions from birth baba came given a birth to brahma and brahma has given a birth so many brahm so baba says your birth is also incorporeal that is you are coming in the, your own body we are taking new birth in the old body baba is taking directly incarnation in dada's body the father does not incarnate alone but brahmin sorry brahma takes a divine birth with brahmin children that is they incarnate together so father and children incarnate together difference is we are coming from this world he is coming from the far away that is supreme abode we are coming in our own body he is coming in the body of dada by taking the load without having brahmins the father alone cannot create this sacrifice said why because he has no body so he has to take the support of the brahmin souls brahma and brahmins so baba created this sacrificial fire with the brahmins through brahma and only after that were all of you created so all brahmins created through brahma by father 
So whether you have been with Baba for two years or two months, I would say time is not important. Two years or two months. Congratulations to all of you for your divine Brahmin birth. This divine birth is so elevated. So elevated. The father is very happy to see the sparkling star of fortune of every Brahmin soul who has taken a divine birth and constantly sing the song. Vaha Brahmin children who have a life as valuable as a diamond. Vah. You are all Vaha Vah. That is wonderful. Are you not? The father has made you into wonderful children. The father's alokic birthday is very unique. And the birthday of all of you children is also very lonely and unique. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. So Baba says, both birthday is unique. Only the birth or Jayanti of the father is like this. No one else has ever had a birthday like this, nor will never ever have such a birthday as the incorporeal one's divine birth. So nobody has a birthday like Divine Father. He is incarnating directly in the body of his of the Brahma because he has no his own body. So somebody else body. He has anyone in whole cycle ever taken birth in this way? Even the founding father souls who are coming in others body but they come in cycle of death and birth immediately after establishing the religion. So nobody has incarnate, has took birth like Supreme Soul. Only the one father has such unique birthday, which devotees have been celebrating as Shiv Jayanti. This is why you know the importance of this divine birth. Nobody knows. We were also not knowing. We come to know when we came Baba's knowledge. Although devotees don't know the importance of this, they do consider God to be the highest on high according to what they have heard and they continue to celebrate it. You children don't just celebrate this, but as well as celebrating it, you also make yourself the same as the Father. Baba says, he is also making just like father. You know the importance of the alokic divine birth. Except us Brahmis, nobody knows how the divine alokic birth took place. No other children take birth at the same time as their father. But Shiva Jayanti means that as well as the father's divine birth, it is also the birth of his children. This is why you celebrated the Diamond Jubilee. So as well as the father's birth, it is also the divine birth of the children. Only this birth can be birthday that is well as valuable as a diamond. And by celebrating this diamond like birthday, your lives become like a diamond. So this is the only diamond age, diamond birth of Brahms. Without Brahmin birth, there cannot be a deity. So only this effort making birth is here. That is Brahmin birth called diamond birth. When we are becoming elevated, all other birth, we are falling down step by step. So Baba says, it is birth like a diamond. All of you children understand the meaning of this very well. And you also explain it to others. We are also explaining the birth of the Baba, how it takes place to others too. So Baba says, you are explaining to others as well as you also understand very well. Otherwise, without understanding, we cannot explain to others. Baba Dada continues to see and hear all the news of how you children celebrate the divine birth of father with so much importance of jill and enthusiasm baba no. how we are celebrating what we are doing in return for the serviceable children's courage bab dada continues to give them help because it is baba's help 
it is baba's task not our task who is doing everything we cannot do that thing so baba said it is the task of baba help of baba through us children without his help we can't do anything nowadays all the children children's one thought of love which is bab dada again in a what is that you can say thought that thought is now i have to become equal to the father as quickly as possible all were you can say doing the same thought in self particularly time and jubilee the father also says with children you have to become this baba also say same thing that become soon the complete and perfect so the new world will come each of you has this determined faith however you now have to underline it if i don't become this then who will baba underline this thought is good that i have to become equal to father as quickly as possible but another thought baba is giving if i don't become there then who will become i was this i am this and i will continue to become this every cycle do you have this firm faith your double foreigners have come to celebrate shiv jayanti all of you double foreigners raise your hands bab dada says that the greatest enthusiasm the double foreigners have is for not leaving out a single corner of the world that all the countries of the world should get the message of baba no country should be left out to get the message baba as soon as possible then and then revelation of baba will be there a new world will come without that new world cannot come transformation cannot take place those of bharat have received a lot of time to do service and so they have given the message to every village baba say almost majority village they got the message that god has come supreme almighty authority has come but in foreign countries still what a message is not reached to the all countries so baba says that spread the message in foreign countries and that is good that all double foreigners have decided to spread the message of baba all over the world however the double foreigners have received less time to do service than those of bharat because knowledge of baba gone to western world particularly after 1973 so less time nevertheless because of their zeal and enthusiasm they have proved to baba that they have served well and will continue to do this double speed baba ji the service that has begun in bharat of serving all the different professions has made it easy to give baba's message to all the professions that is as per the profession there are different wings as for example scientists and engineers wing medical wing as per their profession there is wing judges wing or you can say lawyers wing legal wing etc etc through this there is very good splendor through the special souls from different professions who came here who come here you like this do you not you like serving the professions do you not those from abroad also bring good groups here by having retreats for them system is different in india it is a wing system in foreign countries it is a retreat system that too is a good method just as those from bharat have taken the chance to serve the different professions in the same way the method of double foreigners is also very good that is retreat method bab dada like the service of both sides they are both good jagdish bhai has created a very good invention invention of different wings who invented the idea of retreats and dialogues in the foreign lands some told everyone did together in bharat too everyone has worked together but someone has to be the instrument it is good everyone likes a gathering of their equals equals means those who are coming in their own profession they would like suppose all doctors are there they will like to interact 
with other doctors with their level of intellect. So Babas, everybody likes as per their profession because they are, everyone likes gathering of their equals in doing both types of service, that is through wings and through retreats. You have a chance of bringing many type of souls close. You like the result, do you not? Was the result of the retreat good? The result of serving the different professions <coughs> was also good, Mama say. That is good, different wings, professions, whether from this land or abroad, there is and will continue to be one invention or another. <clears throat> whether in Bharat or abroad, there is good enthusiasm for doing service. Bab Dada says that those who continue to move forward by doing selfless service from their hearts accumulate a lot in their accounts of charity. Now Baba, start the real movie. Baba has prepared all background during almost one and a half page. Now Baba what wanted to tell that Baba goes on accounts of charity. What kind of accounts for all the charities? The first account is of the reward of their own effort. First account, charity account. The second account is of receiving blessings by remaining content and making others content. And the third account is of charity in return for doing accurate service in a yoga yukta and yukti yukta way. So one from own effort, second effort of contentment and third service. In service also yoga yukta and yukti yukta way. <clears throat> Bapa Dada continues to observe these three account of all the children. The indication that the children are accumulating all three accounts is that they experience themselves to be constantly easy effort makers and that others naturally receive inspirations for easy effort from them. They symbolize easy effort. They do not have to labor. They love the father, service and the family. Now Baba goes on. They love the father, the service, and the family. The three types of love free you from having to labor. If there is love, there is no labor, Baba says. And that is the right thing you in the world also. Bab Dada has the elevated hope in all you children that you will all constantly be easy effort makers. You have been laboring and wandering around in confusion on the depth of devotion for 63 births. Baba has also a great compassion because children were looking for him for 63 births here and there. This birth now is the only one in which you can become free from having to labor. This is the diamond age birth. So Baba says, leave the labor and lost in love. If you still continue to labor for a long period of time, then when would you claim the blessing of the confluence age? The blessing of becoming an easy effort maker by receiving love. Because if we are making still too hard efforts, then when it will become easy. When this age ends, this blessing will also come to an end as the time, so everything. So blessing will not be there. So claim this eternal blessing as quickly as possible. No matter how great a task or problem may be, overcome that task or problem as easily as removing a hair from butter. So how to remove the problem? Baba is showing the way. Easy way, like removing hair from the butter. When Bab Dada see the game of some of you children, as well as being amused, Baba also feels mercy for you. Raham, Baba says, when my children are doing too much effort, Baba has mercy. When any problem or task comes in front of some of your, your children, this is sometimes indicated on your faces. So naturally, whatever we are doing, face is the mirror of our inside. So it comes on the faces. Your face change a little. Then when someone asks you what happened, what has happened, you say, well, there is too much work to do. Many times in our life also, 
too much load of the work. So Baba said, we are speaking. If you don't have any obstacles, how could you be praised with the little of, sorry, with the title of the destroyer of obstacles? If Baba said no obstacle, then how we will get the title of destroyer of obstacles? Let there be no signs of tiredness or any indication on your face that your mood has changed even slightly. That was a continuous mood. You can say very cheerful mood. Why? That was a why. Are there any signs of tiredness or of a change of mood in your non-living images that have been worshipped for half a cycle? That was to see your images. Go to the temple. When put on the Google, you will get so many images of deity, very, very cheerful. So if our images, non-living images are, you can say, very, very cheerful, how can we be under pressure, under sorrow? Since the non-living images are always smiling, whose images are those? They are yours, are they not? So the non-living images are memorials of you in your living forms. This is why there mustn't be even the slight stress of tiredness or in other words of irritability, no irritation, no tiredness. As well as Bab Dada, everyone else loves a constantly smiling face. Everybody likes those people who, are, who have enthusiasm, who have a smiling face. Would anyone go in front of someone who is irritable? They would first think, should I say anything to this one now or not? Even suppose irritable face is there, irritable inter interaction is there. They will scared of the same thing. They will not even dare to talk. So Baba says that, <clears throat> should I say anything to this one now or not? They will think 10 times. Devotees come to your non-living images with a lot of enthusiasm. So would they like it? If you become heavy in the living form, if you are heavy in the living form naturally, our images also will be in the heavy form. Now Bab Dada wants to see all the children faces as angelic. First. Second, the form of a bestower of blessings. Third, the form of bestower. Fourth, merciful fifth tireless, and six an easy yogi and easy effort maker. Don't say, well, the stimulation was like that. Sorry, situation was like that. Baba said, don't blame situation, people, anything. No matter what the situation may be, you should be constantly smiling and cool, just like you this day, stable in war. Being serious and mature should be balanced with the being light and entertaining. What would people see if they suddenly came in front of you and because of problems or any task, you do not appear to be an easy effort maker, what will they see? That is the picture of you that they will carry out with, carry away with them. If any time someone suddenly takes your photograph when you are angry or irritate, irritating, what will happen? Then whether you are one month old or two months old, so how many, how many, how much time we are running in Baba knowledge, even one month, two months is not important, our stage is important. Let your faces be as Baba as described. Become best of us. Don't be those who take, but one who best of. No matter what someone gives you, they can give you sorrow, give you trouble, give you obstacle. Baba said, nobody, no one, no matter what someone gives you, whether it is something good or bad, you are the ones with the big hearts. What kind of heart? Who belong to the greatest father of all. Even if someone gives you something bad, you will, sorry, you with your big hearts must not accept that. But you become best of us and give that one cooperation, love and power. So don't expect from anybody. Simply give 
Baba says, cooperation, love and power. Give that one a gift of one virtue or another through your stage. So what we have to give, very important, Baba says. Through our stage, we should give one virtue or another. So gift of virtue is not a physical gift. You are the children of the greatest father of all, the one who has the biggest heart. Let extra love emerge in your heart for that soul, because that soul will be transformed with power of this love. Are you once with such big hearts, or do you have small hearts? Do you have the power of accommodation? Then accommodate everything. So much rubbish is thrown into the ocean, but ocean doesn't throw that the rubbish back to the person who threw away the rubbish. You are the masters and the children of ocean of knowledge and ocean of all powers. So did you hear what Bab Dada wants to see? The majority of you children has kept the aim of transforming yourself this year. Don't say that you will do it sometime in the future or that you will think about it, but that you will definitely do it. Is it that you have to do this or that? You will think that think about it when you return home. Those who feel that you have to do this, clap this with one hand. We have it that. All raise their hands. Very good. Don't just raise that hand, that is physical hand, but also raise the hand of determination in your mind. Without determination, there is no change. So Baba said, determination. It is easy to raise that physical hand. The, land, the hand of determination in your mind makes you into constant embodiment of success. Whatever you think that has to happen, the thoughts you think would of course be positive. You cannot think anything negative. The path of negative thoughts is closed for all time. Do you know how to close it? Or does it open by itself, like the doors that open by themselves during storm? It isn't like that, is it? So Baba is confirming everything with us. You may think that you just close the door, but a storm opens the door. So don't leave the door so loosely closed. Baba said tightly, strong determination. Achha? The celebration of the double foreigners was good, was it not? There was a ceremony of honoring nearly 400 double foreign brothers and sisters who have been in knowledge for 10 years or more. Did you enjoy it? Those who celebrated it and enjoyed themselves, raise your hands. There are also Pandavas in this. What is the importance of this? What is the importance of celebrating this? Baba now explain the importance of celebration. To celebrate means to become nothing else. Constantly wear this crown. What is the crown? Crown of becoming. What would you call effort for the self and responsibility of service? It is just enjoyment. Call effort and service responsibility, enjoyment. Constantly wear the crown of enjoying service. Everyone wear, wore a golden chuni scarf like shiny gold material shiny gold material why was the golden tuni put on all of you so that you you can constantly have the golden aged stage not silver but golden baba say tuni that is you can say scarf shiny golden material that is showing our stage that is golden stage <coughs> Why was the golden chuni put on all of you? So that you can constantly have golden aged stage, not silver, but golden. You have wore a garland. You wore two garlands. So Baba is narrating the importance of whatever you can say they were add on. So chuni, then garland, Baba say, what is the meaning of all of these things? So Baba said now talking of garland, which two garlands will you wear? One is to be constant garland around the father's neck and constantly 
so i constantly don't don't even remove this garland from around the neck neck remain the garland around the father's neck secondly second garland by serving constantly you make others part of the garland around the father's neck there are the two garlands so those who celebrated it enjoyed themselves and those who watch it also enjoy themselves so baba has told you the significance behind these celebrations as well as this to celebrate means to increase your zeal and enthusiasm so second meaning of celebration first meaning of celebration is to become second to increase zeal and enthusiasm bab dada shows each one's experience bab sada so you had good experiences happiness and intoxication were visible on each one's face simply keep your form powerful smiling serious and mature as well as light and entertaining according to the situation of the present time there are more who simply listen to these things and are fewer who understand these things there are more of those who see you and have an experience instead of you telling them these things they should be able to see father's introductions in your faces so this was good bab dada is also happy to see all of this this year this season has been a special season of celebration things cannot be same all the time because things will change according to the time bab dada conducted drill do all of you have the power to rule are you able to rule your physical organs whenever you want have you any have sorry have you become masters of the self only those who are masters of the self can become masters of the world whatever you want no matter what atmosphere he is like if you order your mind and intellect to stop are you able to stop them or would it take some time it is essential for each one of you to make this effort every now and then throughout the day whenever your mind and intellect are very busy then try and see at that time whether you are able to stop in a second so when you think stop and it should not take you 3 minutes or 5 minutes to stop them the practice of this will be very useful to you at the end on the basis you will be able to pass with honor so what is the basis of pass with honor baba has shown the way and question to acha to murli is over in five sentences baba says to all the loving souls who constantly celebrated with zeal and enthusiasm from their hearts second to those who constantly experience a life as value as a diamond to the special souls third who are authorities on the basis of their experience fourth to the serviceable souls whose faces reveal the father and gave his introduction fifth to the souls who have right to everyone blessings how by constantly maintaining a balance between the serious and mature with being light and entertaining to all the children six from all directions in this land and abroad please accept congratulations congratulations for shiva jayanti <clears throat> for shiva ratri also please accept deep heartfelt love remembrance and namaste from dilaram bab dada the comforted comforter of hearts we children of baba also convey remembrance and namaste to dilaram bab dada comforter of hearts and good morning acha today's blessing may you be best over filled with all treasures how by being aware of your form of having all rights to sovereignty and of your worthy of worship form so baba explains constantly remain aware i am a worthy of worship soul and a best over who has the who gives to others not physical thing anything here baba subtle thing i am not a taker but a bestower just as the father gives to all of you his own accord in the same way 
you also have to become master bestowers and continue to give and not to ask for anything. Maintain awareness of your form of having right to sovereignty and of being worthy of worship. People have been going in front of your non-living images up to today and asking for something or for protection. In the world too, people are going to their Ishtadev. So you are those who protect, not those who call out for protection. However, in order to be a bestower, become full of all treasures by having remembrance, good morning, and pure feelings, and by doing service. Sorry, good wishes, and pure feelings by doing service. Three, by having remembrance, good wishes, and pure feelings, and by doing service. Slogan. The happiness in your behavior and your face is a sign of spiritual personality and spiritual personality will come by the body consciousness. Without that, it cannot be achieved. Acha Om Shanti.